Hello, my name is Michael Cronin, 1776 Professor of French and Director of the Trinity Centre for Literary and Cultural Translation. When we think of what translators do, we normally think of people who are engaged in the task of communicating across difference. What translators do is they try to uh, bridge the cap between different uh, languages, cultures, backgrounds, and histories. And the idea is that they establish a framework of understanding why their activity has been so important down through the centuries. It is that translators are the people who have facilitated the actions of diplomacy. Uh, they have uh, facilitated uh, the prevention of uh, conflict. Uh, the outbreak of warfare, uh, the conclusion of peace agreements, uh, and, and, and so on. But of course, um, this is primarily then uh, about translation between humans. But the task that faces us now is uh, how do we translate between the human and the non-human? In other words, how do we create uh, forms of understanding that allow us to bridge the differences between the human and the non-human world. Because one of the things that's been revealed to us, both by uh, the climate crisis and uh, by the pandemic, is the extent to which the non-human has a very forceful agency in our world, that the human world, that kind of belief in human exceptionalism is at an end because the, the, the non-human uh, forces, uh, the environment, uh, the climate, uh, or uh, the force of extraordinarily powerful microorganisms, all of these will change every single facet of our lives. And um, so the urgent uh, translation task in, in our time is uh, establishing a sense of what is possible in terms of translating between the non-human and the human in order to create uh, common frameworks of understanding. Uh, when Earth Day uh, first uh, came into uh, the public uh, consciousness and public awareness in 1970, uh, nobody thought of uh, translation uh, in the terms I've just described. If people thought about translation at all, at all they thought about it primarily in terms of Cold War diplomacy. That what translators uh, did was they kind of brokered uh, the arrangements, uh, the discussions uh, between uh, the superpowers uh, in order to stave off uh, the threat of uh, nuclear annihilation, uh, the destruction uh, of our species and the destruction of the planet. Now, as we face into a different and another kind of annihilation, we also uh, need uh, translation. We also need uh, translators. Uh, we also need uh, the action and uh, the practice uh, of diplomacy, uh, but obviously diplomacy of a different kind. Uh, in other words, how are we to establish um, the bridgeheads of understanding uh, that will allow us to understand, that will allow us uh, to empathize, that will allow us to cooperate and collaborate uh, with all of the, uh, the non-human uh, constituents, the non-human uh, organisms, the non-human uh, elements uh, that make up the planet that, that we inhabit, where we are just one part among many, uh, we are one species uh, among uh, many. One of the questions that we might ask then is where does an activity like uh, translation, how does this feature in terms of creating a sustainable future for uh, all? Well, it does so in a very fundamental way. Uh, when we are talking about a sustainable future, uh, what we're fundamentally talking about is a planetary democracy. A planetary democracy is a democracy where all voices, human and non-human, are heard. And one of the functions uh, of translators, uh, one of the outcomes of translation, is to make different voices uh, heard. Um, so making uh, the voices of the non-human heard is an urgent part of the construction uh, of that future planetary democracy. So for this, we need three things. We firstly need to understand how systems of transmission of information 
uh, operate in the different uh, species, the different parts uh, of our planet. Secondly, we need to establish what are the translation mechanisms that allow us to bridge uh, the gaps between uh, different uh, information uh, systems. And thirdly, how do we use that knowledge uh, to create a sense of a, a global community, a sense of a global commons, uh, where we use that translational uh, understanding uh, to create a shared future that is sustainable for all of the constituent parts uh, of our uh, planet. Uh, because if we don't, uh, what we are faced with is a future of uh, radical mutual incomprehension uh, and blank and dangerous uh, hostility. Thanks for watching. Uh, this video is part of a series of expert reflections curated by Future Earth uh, Ireland as part of Future Earth Week. To watch other videos, or to find out more about Future Earth uh, Ireland, uh, check out Future Earth Ireland on Twitter or go to the Future Earth Ireland website.